All right, this is an SOP on how to do repetitive cycles of a DPV or a CV or pretty much whatever you want overnight. So first you're gonna open up your Kai 630E instrument software. Then you're gonna set up whatever test you're trying to run. So in this, I wanna run a DPV. So I'm gonna go to DPV. Then I'm gonna set up the parameters for it. So this is just a test, so I'll just try like 0 0.1. Then I'll go 0 0.6 for the final. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Then for setup, if you want to, when you're repeating your cycles, run, uh, save up both a text and a bin, you wanna go to setup, you go to system, and then in this corner, you're gonna make sure this box is checked for save text file as well. So then, okay. Then you're gonna go to control, repetitive runs. So I'm just gonna do three runs. So 0 0.5 seconds in between each. Uh, let's do a no prompt for each run because we want it to be automatic. Then I'm gonna keep the result report file as peak shape default, data type original. Then for my file base name. So it's really important to make a folder that you're gonna be saving your data into. So I'll just call this folder SOP. Then I'm gonna make the name, I guess, of this test be like SOP just underscore for the base name. So the base is gonna be what's gonna be tacked on with like SOP1, SOP2, SOP3 each time you run a DPV or CV or whatever you're running. So I have it saved that way. Then I'm ready to run my test. So repetitive run. Now it's running. Quiet time, two seconds. So I guess this one is set up to do like 60 seconds each. But what I would eventually see, another example of this, I have it already run on a DPV. It would pretty much just show up like this. So each trial is like underscore one, underscore two, underscore three, and you'd have it both a bin and a text file. And then you have the DPV rep at the end which is a summary of everything.